this evening. Um, we wanted to frame a little bit of the discussion for you, and the supervisor who was on his way asked me just to, to help out with that, and uh, perhaps when he arrives he could make some other comments as well too. But thank you for taking time out of your, your lives to come and help us uh, talk about what should happen to the campus of Harvard UCLA. And um, you have a variety of boards, and we'll have someone come up here and explain to you what those boards mean. But we thought before we do that, we could frame the discussion for you a little bit and put it within a broader context. Um, so why don't I go ahead and start. Uh, this is a, a picture of the Harbor campus uh, many, many years ago. Uh, and uh, we've come a very, very long way. If you look at the next slide, this is where we are now. And our job tonight is to talk about what should happen to the 72-acre jewel that the county has. And what are some of your thoughts and ideas of how we can use this asset to, to improve the community's health. Um, so why don't I go ahead and start. Uh, this is a, a picture of the Harbor campus uh, many, many years ago. Uh, and uh, we've come a very, very long way. If you look at the next slide, this is where we are now. And our job tonight is to talk about what should happen to the 72-acre jewel that the county has. And what are some of your thoughts and ideas of how we can use this asset to, to improve the community's health. Um, uh, what we're trying to do tonight is um, take a new approach, a master planning approach. And this is similar to an approach that we're doing to the sister hospital of Harvard, uh, MLK Hospital. We're undertaking a similar approach there as well, where we're gonna define healthcare broadly to look at nutrition, wellness, mental health services, alcohol and drug, the full spectrum primary care hospital services. Um, we want to capitalize on this momentum that we have. Everybody's talking about implementing health care reform, restructuring it. So how can we capitalize on this movement? Uh, we want to really use in the best way we possibly can county property. We want to build on the relationship between healthcare and workforce development and jobs. And I have a slide on that in a moment. Uh, we want to look at sustainable design and construction. How can we build in a way that's friendly to the environment, that helps create jobs, that promotes people to make them want to walk and exercise more. And uh, this meeting tonight is all about empowering residents to take, share, take charge of the health of their community as well as the health of themselves. Yes. So I think that's a great model, not only for Harbor, but I know it's one of the supervisors interested in looking at with the MLK campus and other areas. Okay. I know that phone is not mine because I turned off my two ringers before, but I, it happened. So this gives you a sense of uh, the proportion of different facilities. Harbor is a full uh, range hospital, it's a trauma center. Uh, general medicine patients uh, are the largest group followed by surgery, but we have substantial pediatrics, OBGYN, neurology, and psych. Okay, going on to the next slide. The need for this hospital has been only growing. Uh, and that's a trend we've seen uh, throughout the county with greater need resulting in higher levels of hospital admissions. Uh, you see quite a large growth between 2009, uh, 2010, 2004, 2005. Our focus tonight is largely on the Department of Health Services and uh, specifically the master plan uh, for the Harbor UCLA and the UCLA Medical Center. It is hardly to be um, lost on anyone that the issue of physical fitness is fundamentally important. Um, and we are very aware of the aquatics program uh, that has uh, been sustained here for the past several years uh, by a largely uh, uh, private nonprofit uh, entity uh, 
that found it difficult to sustain itself. Uh, but it has been my view that uh, the Department of Parks and Recreation uh, should uh, seek to um, pick up uh, the slack in that regard. And so uh, let me direct your attention to a uh, person on my staff who's working on that. That would be uh, Carly Catona. Um, and uh, uh, Carla uh, Sales is uh, right at the rear of the room. She can connect you with Carly. And you can learn rather specifically what will be happening on a go forward basis with the aquatics uh, program here at Victoria as well as some of the others. So uh, fit the physical fitness is um, a very important, uh, but it's not just simply physical fitness. It's a matter of um, uh, competitive sports for uh, the youngsters. Uh, it's also a matter of self-esteem, uh, team sports, uh, etc. All of that is uh, uh, rolled into the experience. If we believe in it, we trust that we can sustain it.